Well, it is time, as you know now, to think about holiday presents. And if you are thinking of giving money this year, wealth strategist and tax attorney Rebecca Walster is here to answer some crucial questions. And really, this is perfect timing because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I know. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's like we need a turkey here, you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not uh, the Christmas uh, gifts uh, looking, hey. our holiday looks. But you know what? Maybe you can be thankful exactly. for gifts given to you thankful. in the financial department. I agree. But I know there's some things that people need to keep in mind. Yes, yes, absolutely. So we want to start off with cash gifts. You okay. know, people do not realize that Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, they could give away all of their wealth very easily simply by gifting $14,000. Any individual is able to gift in the United States, your resident or, or green card holder, permanent resident. So United States citizen or permanent resident, you can gift $14,000 to any individual without actually having to fill out a gift tax form. That's the annual exclusion amount, basically. So I can give to you 14, I can give to her 14, and 14 and 14 and 14, there doesn't have to be any kind of relationship. There's no you know, insurable interest type of thing. It's just anybody, any US citizen or resident can gift to any other person in the United States $14,000, and it's the annual exclusion limit. It does not have to report on a gift tax return. Okay, so I will say, one, I love that. I would love, you know, if Warren Buffett, if you're watching Morning Blend, if you want to do this, we'll help you out. Thanks, Warren Buffett, send us $14,000. So with this, so what if we are a married couple? Does yes. that mean only $14,000 per couple? No, so what happens is if you have a married couple, like let's say your parents, mm -hmm. they wanted to combine their annual gift, they could actually give to you $28,000. Oh. Now we get into some, into some different gift tax reporting because they're doing a combined gift, okay. but definitely uh, they're able to gift to you, because there's two of them, $28,000, and to your husband and to your daughter. So okay. three recipients from your mom and dad together would be 28 times three. Okay, mom and dad, there you go too, <laughs> another kid. We're just giving Let's people all. Let's just get the all. gifts going higher. We are. We're giving people all sorts of suggestions. That's right, that's right. But say you're in a situation where you need more than that. Say, you know, you think of college or you think of hospital bills. Exactly, How great. Can you help there? So also, Natalie, the, the tax code allows for direct gifts on the behalf of somebody that are made directly either to the school. So if you want to pay for private tuition, you pay it directly to the school. Don't send it to your child and then have your child pay for their child. So it's really for your grandchild. Pay the school directly. And then also if there's medical bills, pay the doctor's bills directly. Pay the hospital directly. As long as the actual do, you know, person who's the donor is paying that hospital or education bill directly, then it will fall within the exclusion amounts. Now, I'm curious, is there an amount if you pay the school directly or pay the hospital directly? No. There's no amount. You can nope. pay whatever that may be. Now, I'm assuming, though, there's got to be some kind of like tax form or some kind of way to confirm that this is being done correctly before tax season comes around. Well, right? what we would just suggest in general for general tax you know, reporting purposes, always seek your own advice because we don't know exactly what your individual situation yes, is. Yes. So don't just take our show and go do it and think, well, Rebecca said it on a Morning yes, Blend. We will not be covering <laughs> the cost that you may lose. There's no. our disclaimer now. Yes, no. thank you. But, uh, you know, in general, as long as the uh, grandparent or is making the check, directly to the school or the, the doctor's office. That's the extent of it. Oh, good. There's no forms that need to be done, nothing that, like that. Yeah. Well, that's a little uh, other initiative directly to Directly in the code. I was going to say, it's another kind of gift. You don't have to worry about any paperwork. Exactly. Okay, and as always, though, Rebecca, I think we need to say, if people do have specific questions, yes. how can but people get in touch with you? I always hate giving out general advice because it's like, <laughs> you're going to misconstrue it and then say, I said it, and that's not what I said. So let's just be very careful. Call us yes. directly for specific situations because we obviously, we're just talking generally $14,000 per person allowed, unlimited amounts, annual exclusion amount, and not have to report on the gift tax return. Otherwise, give us a call and uh, we'll be happy to speak with you. And just to kind of revisit the top of the segment too, this is per year, correct? Per year, per person per year. Per Annual year. exclusion amount. Yes, ma'am, Natalie. Good stuff. See, happy I'm getting Thanksgiving it. too. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. We are thankful for you. Oh, thank you. I'm Thanks thank for you. being I'm a so part glad. of our show. So glad to be here. Thanks, Thanks. Natalie. Take care.